you have an iPhone or an iPad application and you want to make it better. To do that you need to see how people interact with your application. I will show you how heat maps can improve your application design. This is a demo application that has uh, just normal kind of uh, UI interface. It has a couple of buttons, switches, a photo and a text. It also has a map. And uh, I would like to see a heat map for this interface. I'm just going to shake the device and press the I button that comes out and then I'm going to choose heat map from the menu. Uh, I get an information that there was uh, 3163 touches on the portrait mode so this heat map that you can see right here is represented by 3000 something touches and as you can see on this heat map there are different colors. The red color indicates that people touch the most in that place uh, so, uh, as we can see, uh, a lot of people touched on the photo right here, as well as uh, the button right here. The button right here says photos. So, what kind of things we can get from the heat map that can uh, help us to improve our application? Well, first of all, uh, when people click on a photo, that, that, that indicates that people like to enlarge it, make it bigger. So, if you don't have this functionality, it's probably good to implement it. Also here you can notice that people uh, touch a lot on the text and that's the indicator that uh, people want to uh, have a bigger text to read so they double tap on it to make it bigger. So that's also a good thing to actually know to make the text bigger. Uh, if you have a lot of buttons ne next to each other you might consider uh, looking at the heat map to see if people uh, mistakenly press like between the buttons uh, or outside the button to see if the size of the button is correct. And uh, also, to actually make a uh, user interface much better, much clearer, it's uh, good to see what kind of buttons are pressed the most and maybe get rid of the other ones. Maybe you don't need other ones, the, the ones that people don't really press that much. So you can get a lot of great information about user experience. And uh, this application also allows you to scroll down and as you can see, not many people press this button right here. And it's probably because they don't even know they, they can scroll the application. So as you can see, you can get a lot of great stuff from the heat map uh, that can improve your application and make you understand better what people are doing with it. Okay, so thank you.